Today we're going to install a rear camera system in this Chevy Cruze. We use brackets and cameras from Rydeen and the mirror assembly from Rostra. I will put the links in the description for you. So first thing we're going to want to do is unpackage everything. The camera comes with a universal mount and we're going to remove the universal mount and install it onto this license plate bracket. With the camera mounted onto the bracket, we will now take it and install it on the top of the license plate. Then we install the camera with the factory screws. Be sure to tighten it up so it doesn't fall off. Then we have to remove the carpet on the underside of the rear deck so we can run the wire down with the factory loom. With all the pins removed, we can then remove the factory carpet. And then we have exposed where we need to run our wires nice and neat and out of the sight of everything. All right, we have the wire ran along the factory wiring down inside the factory loom. Always put it inside the factory loom where possible so it'll look like a complete original installation. With the help of one of our fishing tools, I'm able to get the wire from the trunk all the way through into the inside of the car. With the wire successfully through from the trunk, the easiest way we find to run the wire is up inside the ceiling. You pull down the rubber. You can definitely see there's plenty of room to tuck in your wire. And we do that all the way through. With our wire head and our rubber all snapped into place, we have our wire up to the windshield. Now it's time to work on the mirror. After we remove the plastic cover, we have the original mirror, and we can see that it is a T20 Torx. So we Grab our tool with our T20 Torx and carefully remove the screw. Our mirror should then just slide off. With the mirror off, we see we have a plug for the factory OnStar. We did not get a new mirror with OnStar because this model cruise has a OnStar that has been sunsetted. So there we are, our blank canvas for our new mirror. Here we have the new mirror. You see it has a similar uh, mounting. It just uses a Allen key instead of the T20. So we are going to slide that right back on where the original one was and then we're going to tighten it up with the Allen key that they give us. With our extension cable attached, we're going to first, we're going to tuck up these original factory wires that were plugged in the old mirror. 
and then we will run our cable right across the front of the roof just like we did coming across the doors. With our plastic trim back in place, we then adjust the mirror to a comfortable viewing angle. And our wire is hidden all the way down along to the bottom of the dashboard where we need to hook the two pieces together and also give them power and reverse signal. After grinding the metal clean, uh, we take our ground with a self-tapper screw and we put it into the giant metal bracket inside the kick panel. With our ground secure and the rest of our connections made between the camera and the mirror, there's plenty of room up inside this cavity to hide all of our extra wires. All right, everything is zipped up nice and neat. We've extended our red and green wire because we know in this car, the BCM is located in the center console on the passenger side. So we're gonna tape these together, make it look like a factory harness and run them over to the passenger side of the console. Here's our red and green wire after we test the taped it. It'll look just like factory wire if it ever does become exposed or if anybody needs to work on the car they will have no idea that we were in there and ran a wire. Off to the passenger side BCM. Alright using our database we know the reverse light is a green wire with a white stripe. Positive trigger at the BCM inside the center console from passenger side gray 26 pin plug pin 3. We use these databases for everything we do. Inside the car, passenger side. We remove the panel that covers up the BCM and we got our wire ran over. Looks better than the factory wires and there's our BCM. So we look for the gray plug which is the one on the end. And our wire is located in pin three. All right, we have located our green with a white. It is in pin three, just like the computer said. Um, we never cut a factory wire, we always splice. We use what is called a military splice, it's the strongest connection you can have, where we strip the wire back, put a little hole through it, and then we strip our new wire we feed it through the hole like a sewing needle and then we wrap it around, tape it, and then we test the tape back up the whole harness so it looks like we were never even in there. There's our harness, all taped back up, test the tape, looks like we were never even in there. Plug that back in and then we're off to our accessory wire. Accessory wire for our 2013 Chevy Cruze is now in the green plug, pin 5, purple yellow wire. Alright, we've got a green plug. Count over 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Have our purple with a yellow wire. And we're going to do another military splice and hook power to the system to the car's accessory. Accessory wire is hooked up, test the taped, and now plug it back into the BCM. All right, our mirror is all installed. I'm gonna go ahead, start it up with the key. Power light comes on. We will shift it into reverse. 
And there we have our rear view camera, We've got our backup lines, everything looks lined up. It's got a great picture. Guess what folks? We are done. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to see more, be sure to like and subscribe. And again, I will put all of the links in the description below. Have a great day.